This is the banding video. We are going to discuss the supplies that you need for the banding. You should have a trimmer in which you trim the hair about a quarter inch all around the base of the tail of the puppy prior to banding. You're going to have your elastic thread. I get this at Walmart. It's the Stretch Right brand. I've already cut some pretty pieces. I do usually cut them about 12 inches. Use two pieces each per puppy. We are doing two puppies right now. You're going to need some alcohol and a shallow dish. You'll put the alcohol in the shallow dish, dip the sewing thread into the alcohol prior to the banding. So you don't really need that many supplies and we're going to take a break right now while we get our puppies. Okay, here's our little puppy. I'm going to go ahead. Follow me, Mandy. I'm going to go ahead and take the strings and set them in the alcohol to soak. And we're going to shave off the hair. Remember that this is elastic sewing thread, not regular sewing thread. You want to get about a quarter inch around the base, just so you can see really good what you're doing without the hair being in the way. Okay, and while we have the puppy here, I'm going to turn the puppy up and I'm going to show you there is a little white line right above the rectum. Not sure if it's going to come through. You can see it's like almost a little indented right line, white line right here. That is where you're going to be placing the thread. So when I say place the thread on the white line, this is what you're going to be looking for. Okay, we've got the puppy in position. You want to see that the hind legs are out of the way and under the fingers so that we've got plenty of room. We're going to get our elastic sewing thread. I usually dab it off a little bit so that it isn't so wet. We're going to raise the puppy's tail straight up and you can see the little indent line. The puppy's going to fuss now because it's being held still. Put this right on above the rectum where the white line is and pull the puppy's tail straight down. You want to do this tight. You want to cross this thread high up over the back so that you actually get it as high as you can. And you want to pull, you want to pull tight, okay? You don't want it to twist like it's doing right now. Okay, pull your hands back toward me some. Straighten the puppy out and then pull up, up with the tail. When you've got it crossed over the back good, you want to do this tight. You want to come back around under the tail and cross right back where you were. Amy, straighten the tail up. And pull tight and lower. Now you want to cross over at the top exactly where you crossed the first time. Puppy's getting away, please. Get our puppy back in position. With the feet back under. Okay. Now, this is our second crossover. You want to pull tight. You can see we're right where we were the first time. Okay, raise the tail up. 
And you can see where we've crossed before previously. You want to cross at the same spot. Pull tight and pull the tail down. Now we're going to be tying it off. And this time, instead of crossing over, you're actually going to be making a little knot. You want to get it in the same spot you were. Okay, hold, put a finger there. Now you're going to knot it off. Okay. And I need the scissors right there in the drawer. Forgot the scissors, guys. You can tuck the thread off right here. And double check and make sure that the rectum has not been compromised, that you're not on the lip or anything. You can see where the white line was. The band is now there. And the band is now here. It's very tight on the puppy. And it should hang straight down like this. And you want to watch this over the next few days. Make sure that the mama is getting under it and cleaning it well. And that's hanging straight down as it should. And this little puppy is done. And as you see, once it's all over, she's fine. Now we're going to go and get the next puppy. Okay, this little puppy, as you see, has a little nub. And he's feisty, so I'm expecting to have a little bit of trouble holding him still. Again, we're shaving about a quarter inch around the base. He's a wiggler. Got him? What you want is a clear shot at the base so you can see where you're working. So everything is done on the sides. A little bit more maybe on this side. Okay. Now I'm expecting to have a little bit of trouble getting this puppy to hold still. So we're going to tuck the little feet under. Turning this way so he's straight. And these short nubs are a little harder to hold on to. So if, if they're actually too short to use your fingers, you can use a pair of hemostats and clip the ends so that you've got something to work with to hold the tail. But this one is long enough that we'll actually be able to do it with our hands. Okay, we need to keep the puppy's body straight. And having difficulty with this puppy actually will help you because you'll watch. Sometimes you have to make sure you don't want the head sticking up like this because that puppy's going to get away. You want to get this puppy completely tucked in the person holding its hands with the hind feet underneath. But you can't have your hands over the top or you won't be able to see what you're doing and you have to have the fingers out of the way so that you can actually get to where you're going. I see this this here is we've got to get the fingers more out of the way. 
so it's if you bend your fingers it works better okay so now we've got total view of the puppy you want the puppy's body straight and this one's going to fuss with us here okay so you can see the little white line right here above the rectum Right, so we're going to get our elastic sewing thread. Okay, and the puppy's fussing because we're holding on to him. So we're going to put the thread right here on this white line, right above the rectum as you can see. Bring the tail down. Now I'm going to cross up on the back as high as I can. Cross the thread over and pull tight. Raise the tail up. Cross underneath exactly where you were, pull tight, lower. You want to cross this tail back up, the thread back up over again as high as you can and is where you were the first time. Do not create a bubble effect. Can y'all lower a bit a little bit for the camera? As you can see I'm crossing at the same place. This is the second cross, raise up. Okay, and you want to pull tight. That is the key here, always pull tight. I'm going under again, pull tight, lower. Now we're going to tie off, lower, y'all drop it please. Thank you, so the camera can see. Now we're going to tie off. As you see, the puppy's getting a little calmer. You want to come down and pull tight. And there's our knot. And we'll take the scissors, cut the thread. Now we want to raise the puppy up. And we want to see that the rectum is not compromised. If he'll be still. As you can see, the line is well above the rectum. It's crossed evenly. There's no bubbling. You don't want any skin in between you know, the, the thread pieces. You want to cross over the same place every time. So this little baby's fine. Being the nub, you're not going to see it hang down as much, but it should still have a hanging down position. And now that it's all over, this little guy is going to quit fussing. Again, you want to watch it over the next two to three days. Make sure the mama is cleaning under here well, as the tail will get tighter. And you will see the tail within the next two to three days start to shrivel up. It will become very small, very shriveled, and it will dry and we're going to be videoing that as we go along. So this is the first two puppies. We will have two more to do to resume with our tape. Thank you. Okay, we're back with our second set of puppies. This is also a litter of two. I forgot to mention earlier that the original two puppies we did were six days of age. I don't like to do the banding until the puppies have gained a minimum of an ounce and a half from their birth weight and are thriving, meaning that they're very vigorous. These puppies here are three days of age and they have already gained two ounces above their birth weight, which is normally what I see. And three days of age is the ideal time to do it. It doesn't hurt to do it later and you want to do it later if the puppy's not thriving because although it causes very little stress, you don't want to stress them at all if you don't need to. So we're going to start shaving the hair around the base of the tail on this baby. Again, you want to get about a quarter inch all the way around the base. Okay, we're going to take our elastic sewing thread, dip it in the alcohol. Dab it off a little. 
get the puppy in position with the hind feet tucked under the body and the fingers out of the way. You need to slide the puppy down a little. Okay, you want the butt kind of sticking up in the air like this so that you can really see what you're doing. We've got our string out. You're going to hold the puppy tightly, but do not squeeze too tight. And you want to pull the tail straight up and back. And here's that white line that I'm talking about. You want to place your elastic thread on that white line directly above the rectum. Pull the tail straight down. This is where you're going to pull high up on the back, pulling toward the head. We're going to make our first cross. Pull very tight. Pull the tail up. Now I'm going to come back under exactly where we were. Pull tight. Lower the tail. Now we're going to make our second cross. Same place as you did the first time. Pull down a little bit. You want to get it exactly where you were the first time. Pull tight. Tail up. I'm coming back under. Pull tight. Pull tail down. Now we're tying off. Finger. And our knot. This little puppy's done. Again, you want to check and make sure that the rectum has not been compromised, which you see it has not. The band is above. The white string is above. We've got everything here on the top as it should be. The band is very tight. And now that we've let go of our puppy, the fussing has subsided and she's perfectly fine. So now we're going to go get the second puppy. Now we're back with the second puppy. We're going to shave the hair 